Hey guys, this is Ishmael Amti. Have you seen the GH COVID-19 app that was launched by the Vice President that was on the 13th of April 2020? Oh, you have? Wow, that's nice. If you haven't, how about you still go ahead and take a look at it? So yeah, first of all, before you can get access to this app, um, you can't find it on the Play Store. The reason I learned is Google is no longer accepting apps on COVID-19. So yeah, so you first have to visit that uh, COVID-19, COVID-19, uh, Dot com and boom so there you are landed on the website so i learned that it's currently only available for android users so to be able to download this app you first have to accept the terms over here which uh we barely read so maybe tap on this you see the terms uh, that's a lot yeah i'm not going to read that so you just go ahead to hit on the download um test here a button okay so it goes ahead to download the apk for the app i already have it downloaded so i'm not going to go ahead to um download it again now once you download it and you are trying to install it depending on the settings of your phone it's going to ask you to allow unknown um apps to install so you have to grant that permission before you can go ahead to install the app so once let's say you're done with all that let me just go ahead and then launch this app so go ahead to tap on the icon and there you go so that's the app so you see he's um dh covid 19 tracker government of ghana COVID-19 tracker. So the first thing it's requesting for is my mobile number. So let me just gladly type that in here. Now this form has some validation set to it. So if you don't enter your number properly, it's not going to allow you to proceed. So after that, I enter my email address. And uh, so it says I should click to agree the terms condition. How about, let me see what the terms is. So the same thing I saw earlier. Let me agree and proceed. Wow, so now the first part is about you so it's asking for um how old you are it's just some um, 80 years that's okay and my gender hmm. what's my gender well probably i'm um, well male let me just um select yeah 80 years is fine for me i'm okay <laughs> uh my region so i'm in great greater accra let me just go ahead to select greater accra and have you traveled about the last time i checked have i traveled Okay, yes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I saw something. What did they say? Okay, it says, which country have you traveled in the past weeks? You know what? For the sake of, let me just say no. Let me click on next. And about your health. So do you smoke? Do I smoke? No, I don't smoke. And do you have any of those diseases? No, I don't. So next. And social distancing. Uh, well, I don't know. I could, it could have been, but I can't tell. So let me just let you know. Next, um, symptoms, do you have fever? No, I don't. Do you have coughs? No, I don't. Do you have um, shortness of breath? Nope. Do you have loss of taste? Well, sometimes I do, but smell not. But yeah, next. Oh, that was so fast. I thought there was more. Well, yeah, that's just basically about the app. Um, once you go ahead to fill the app, depending on what the options that you select, especially you saw the travel, aspects once i selected yes it was asking for the countries that are visited so that's how the app works so what i thought about this app i'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below for me i think it was a good initiative and it could have been done um way better than what we see now because this is just like um, normal forms that you're filling online something like google forms or microsoft forms so to prove you that could have even been done using google forms let me just go ahead and show you what i built for it Google Forms. This is a GH COVID-19 tracker. My form, not an app. And so first of all, I need to enter my mobile number. So let me just go ahead to enter that here. And then I'm going to go ahead to enter my email address. So that's the first part of the app. So my form also. Then I go ahead to select my age, of course, 80 years. My gender, male. And what region am I in? So I'm in the greater Accra region. The next part is, um, have you recently traveled? So no, yeah, let me just go ahead and move on next. And then do you smoke? Nope. Do you? Nope. I, yeah, the next part, do you? No, 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 not at all. The next part also is do you have fever? No. Do you have cough? No. Do you have no? Do you have no? I don't. <laughs> yeah. And then I go ahead to submit it. So that was basically just about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in Microsoft. Um, forms also so let me just launch this as well and all right so here we go 
my mobile number so i just got to type that my email address i got to type uh let me just type that all right my 80 yes yeah that's my age that's my age and gender male i have four region um no i mean greater Accra. so have you no do you smoke no do you no no i don't no come on no no and no yeah then i go to submit so you realize that was very simple and that's basically what the app is doing i don't really see anything special about it like i was saying it could have been way better than what we have now but hey that's what we have and this is basically to help you know with the covid 19 cases so don't bash i've heard a lot of bashing about on the app but come on let's just go ahead and then do our best by using it and helping with the covid 19 cases now to show you something much more interesting let me just show you what a bot that a friend built which even is very interesting very interactive than what you see with the apps let me just go ahead to open it so this was actually a um, simple bot so you start let me just say hello and then a bot is going to respond so yeah say he's hello um blah 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 so how can i assist you well let me just go ahead to see something i have coughs uh, cough and then a bot is going to respond oh okay so yeah it doesn't understand what because it's still under development but that is just to give you an idea of something that could have been done you know like especially if it's going to be an app could have been something much more interactive where yeah, it gets more you know interesting that would want people to people would have people wanting to use it and more but hey that's what we have so that's just about it now let me come back and see start so talk to a person that's basically going to link me to a direct person so yeah the bot is still under development and that's even yeah just to for you to have an idea about it so hey that is just about it for this video in case you are new kindly smash the subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it once again my name is Ishma Lamte. let me know your thoughts about the app in the comment section below in case you haven't downloaded kindly go ahead to download it and just share your thoughts with me so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one